All right. Good evening. Good afternoon, Danvis. This is our show. It's called You Can't Have It Both Ways. My name is Michael Bean, lifelong resident of town, the wonderful community of Danvis, Mass. We have some guests with us tonight. My co-host, Mr. Damian Ankertel, not a Danvis resident. Not a Danvis resident. Not your fault, though. You know, you marry into puberty, you got to stay there. Uh, right. Um, and I was going to make a Mr. Clean joke, but I'll do that next time. It's extraordinarily shiny today, I know, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's it's this studio. we got natural light in here today. I think that that's what's going on here. Natural, yeah. That's All what right. I'm blaming it on. And Miss San Fran, please yes. uh, introduce yourself to the lovely town of Danvers. Hi, uh, my name is Sandy Franciscini. I am a resident of Danvers now for 22 years, and I am running for a Republican State Committee woman. Oh. She is running. Yes, See, I am running. I thought she was running. Congratulations. Yeah, Are you, you running from something? Uh, I, actually, I'm running for something. Oh, something. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What I would will that be? be running? I have pulled papers for the uh, state senate of the second <coughs> Essex, PBD, Beverly, Danvers, and Salem. So I will be uh, knocking on your door soon to um, make sure that uh, I can grab a signature from you and uh, just talk a little bit more about my campaign. We're uh, developing some things right now, getting some uh, teams together. Uh, to hit each city pretty strongly this year. We're gonna we're gonna make a hard run for it. Excellent, excellent. And who would you be running uh, against? It would be uh, the incumbent. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which is Joan Lovely. Okay, all right. Last time I'm gonna say her name throughout the whole campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you won't hear it again from me. I also filed my nomination papers for um, select board in Danvers. so I'm excited about that. We'll see what happens. Congratulations. As far as I know, there'll be four people running for two seats, two incumbents, and then uh, myself and another gentleman. How so did you want the signatures? I handed in 128 signatures. Oh, wow, that's and, great. And uh, seven of them didn't cut it, so I handed in 121. Excellent. Not trying to be a show off. I didn't mean it like a show off thing. But you never know if you know who's going to, you know. Just because somebody signs doesn't mean they're registered. Well, yeah, so, yeah, anything that can happens. happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's all good news. So we have a lot of uh, activity going on. When's oh, that yes. election for you? I'm so that's going to be in uh, May. May? Yeah. March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. Yeah. Right a up. week from tomorrow. Right yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Awesome. It's very and it's the same district as you as well, which is Beverly, Danvers, Peabody, and Salem. Yes, so I hope you is. folks get out and vo vote for myself and Bob May as well, who's running for a state committee man. Who's Hi, actually Bob. here in the audience? Bob's here. <laughs> Hi, Bob. <laughs> <coughs> Um, all right, so um, I did want to say uh, our little uh, liability uh, statement here, which is that uh, anything we say is our opinion, our opinion only, so please, you don't have to believe anything we say, do your own research. But if you don't believe us, just ask us. Yes. We're going to stick to the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so in true fashion of the title of our name, <coughs> of this show's name being You Can't Have It Both Ways. Uh, I thought I'd just throw an easy one out because it's just a simple one. Um, you, mm, let's see, you have to show ID for a laundry list of items, except voting. Except voter, yeah. voter ID. We don't have voter ID. Excellent. So, yeah, you really shouldn't be able to have that both ways. It should be one or the other. So. It isn't a, from a lack of trying because the Mass GOP and then Roar out of Wakefield also try to put the petition in to get voter ID approved. And a lot of us, including Bob May, and I believe you guys too, have been out there and try to collect signatures to get that on the ballot so people would vote for it. And I just don't understand why it never seems to go through. It just doesn't make any sense. You need IDs for everything <coughs> else. Right, right, exactly. But why does it have to be put out for a, a petition? Why can't it just be part of our rules? I mean, it's I a simple no, it sense. Isn't a common sense rule? Yes. Common sense? Aren't we looking for so. common sense today? I think the biggest thing that we don't have anymore is common sense. Mm -hmm. Everything's upside down, and and it's that's the new norm. Well, I have common sense. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean individually. I wasn't. Right. I wasn't poking fun at you that time. Um, <laughs> but wait, <this> time. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> so on a on another uh, little story here, uh, the Home Depot on Route One had a bad fire. Uh, a number of fire agencies, including our very own in Danvers, responded. Mm -hmm. um, so that place will be closed for a while. Do you know what caused the fire? That was going to be my question. Yeah. Do you know, Damon? I do not. <clears throat> a battery-powered forklift. Oh. 
Now let's talk about batteries for a minute, okay? What kind of batteries? Well, electric vehicle batteries. Electric vehicle wow. batteries. Right? Oh, the Green New Deal sounds great. Yes, yes. So this battery vehicle, this battery uh, powered forklift, um, the battery, you know, come up, get up on fire, exploded, whatever it did, and it burnt up a, a, a number of uh, items there. Now the whole store is closed because it's all contaminated. So they'll either be throwing everything in the dumpster or they'll have to clean everything. So um, now. Let's go to battery cars. Uh, why not? We're already on the subject. Battery cars, um, heavy, much heavier than a regular motor vehicle, okay? So heavy that you have to change the tires every eight to 10,000 miles. Ooh, is that I true? I know that fact. That is true. Wow. In fact, they're, they're talking that the bridges in road, certain roadways where, you know, maybe uh, over waterways and whatnot um, can't handle, you know, all the electric cars because they're much heavier than a regular yeah, car. I've heard that. Uh, now I'm gonna have to check your facts. Everybody, check my yeah. check on that yeah. one. Yeah. Eight thousand miles. That's wow, unbelievable. That's yeah, not yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, I just went into tire sales, so that's it's what two the oil changes. <laughs> I know. Normal cars. Yeah. Right. No, I mean I think what do you get about twenty five, thirty thousand miles on a set of tires? Forty. Forty. 40 yeah, yeah, depending upon yeah. the grade. Yeah. yeah. I guess I don't drive as good as you do, so. Um, however, speed I think limit everywhere I go. I think my wife would say I drive slow like an old man. <laughs> Anyway, uh, sorry I didn't get my hair cut today. I got the Bertie Sanders thing going, but uh, <coughs> didn't make the schedule. <sighs> We're just showing off my ADHD. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, anyway, the uh, electric uh, vehicles here, um, they give off these uh, terrible fumes. Mm -hmm. The batteries are terrible for the environment. It takes 11,000 gallons of water for the fire department to put one out in, if it goes out. And now a regular gas or diesel car is uh, like six, 700 gallons of water. Yeah, right. and they, they actually, if you go to um, like um, Denmark and, and other uh, European uh, towns, uh, states, um, countries, whatever they're called, uh, what you'll run into, they have trucks that come out with the fire. If there's an electric vehicle fire, they'll pick up a car and then drop it into a Oh, I think uh, I've seen that. Thing. Yeah, so, and then wow. they fill it with dirt. Yeah, fill it with dirt. Because right. so it may it may start up on fire again. May reunite. Like, and what is the cost for that, <coughs> that particular contraption? Exactly. To Right. And it doesn't alienated. matter. They get this money. It's the Green New Deal. Yes. Yeah. There's money everywhere. You it's can just get it. Don't, don't it's grown on trees now, I, get, I hear. No, I, they're just <laughs> the printers are printing it like crazy. <laughs> yep. Um, so that is definitely a you cannot have it both ways because it's just mm -hmm. not so. It's just not so. It, yeah. it's not a, there's nothing good about that in our environment. Well, the cars also <coughs> catch fire as well, too. And they also freeze in the winter. They've had reports of people who had electric vehicles and they weren't moving. No. They fro so yeah. The I Tesla don't graveyard, they called it. Yes. The heaters um, suck the power right out of the battery. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to use the heater in the winter because we have winter here. Yes. And, uh, we can't yeah. ride bicycles in the winter. But yeah. we do have bike lanes. Yes. Thank they God. don't make the F-150 electric anymore. They stopped making that. No, that was a oh, big really? fail. Yeah. Right. They stopped making it. Yeah. The, the car lots are full. And like I've said before, you'll never see a used electric car lot. No. Because nope. what good is it? You can't buy it. It's a once, once and done. Throw it away. It is. <coughs> you know. Yeah. So uh, I did want to talk about we we try to throw a health tip out because you know everybody gets sick every ten minutes now, right? With the flus and all the stuff. So today's health tip. This comes right from Katie's corner. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, this is all natural elements that uh, she's uh, deriving from some books that she's uh, put together. Reading, reading. I didn't mean she was writing them. Yet, yeah, she may write them. Um, and it's all to build up your immune system. Um, you know, f we're always trying to fight off the flu, COVID, in a natural way if we can. So this tip is called oregano oil. Do you guys oh like yes. oregano? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you make the oregano oil? No. I'm going to tell you how to. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd start off if you were making it. Okay. Um, half a cup of dried oregano leaves, mm -hmm. half a cup of extra virgin olive oil you <laughs> let's see use a mason jar let it saturate eight weeks oh wow Ooh. so for eight weeks you're like please don't let me get sick this stuff is in a dark cool place <laughs> as stated mm -hmm. getting ready to make me healthy um, then once you take it out of your dark cool place you're gonna strain it with some cheesecloth and you're gonna put it in the little 
like dropper bottles, little dropper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're only using this like in drops. Gotcha. So okay. you'd put like drops like in your tea, mm -hmm. your coffee. Uh, I guess you could put it in your coffee, right? I don't know if coffee's in coffee. Coffee's in all right. Your orange juice, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, some people say don't use it straight; it could burn you. Oh, okay. So mix it in with a, another mix drink. Mix it with and something. Sounds yeah. like hippie voodoo magic <laughs> medicine. <laughs> it's probably all that, you know. We're just listen. I already gave the disclaimer, so yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're okay. Yeah. Do it treat, on your own. Don't treat anything serious yeah. with this, because at your own power. We're not doctors. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. That's okay. Doctor might be. No, but I, I portray one on TV. <laughs> I know a guy who's a doctor. Yeah. Well, he's my doctor, but yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> doctor, doctor. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you don't believe that this stuff is going to help your immune system, well, look it up for yourself, all yes. right? Yes. I've heard of oregano oil, though, that it is beneficial. Yeah. So yeah. a friend yeah. actually suggested it from my husband. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is some, yeah. some role in that. You think it's going to give him a better attitude at home? Uh, I don't think anything will. <laughs> 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 oh, that was awful. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I know. Um, We're just kicking around. I'm sorry. Tonight, mm -hmm. we have a town meeting. They're going to open oh, the yes. town meeting so they can close the town meeting. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, yeah, that's what's happening. However, okay. come to order, you're close. Now, let's talk about this for a minute, okay? Uh, yes. This town meeting, okay, which was held uh, weeks ago, um, was, it, it came to an abrupt halt near the yes. end, right after I had got up and um, gave out the, you know, s my speech on the trash petition, the fee. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about this trash fee, and, uh, you know, the fee itself is one thing, but the point uh, one of the biggest points is how it came about. <clears throat> it didn't go the long route, but, you know, it's going to be like a million three on top of our costs in town. And so wouldn't you think you should take that the long route? It should go, you know, all the way through the whole process, right through town meeting. Let everybody that can look at it look at it. And then if it's verified, then everybody says, okay, well, then that's what it is. If, if, if everyone in town meeting... Uh, all the town meeting members look at it and uh, they do their homework and they decide, you know, we're counting on them to investigate, research, and, right. and if they say, um, yes, you know, from all, everything we've looked into, we have to do this this way, then so be it. That's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not what happened. So there's a law in place where the uh, town managers, uh, uh, city mayors, they can um, go around town meeting they can go around city council um, I believe uh, Governor Baker put it in place uh, I think it's uh, is it chapter 44 section 28 C that's all right in anyway it says that uh, basically they can avoid that uh, for this particular item so but you don't have to mm -hmm. just because it's there you don't have to do it is that pati is that that uh, statute that you were talking about Speci uh, specific to trash, or is it? Yeah, it does list things. trash in it. Yeah, because yeah. I heard yeah. that they're planning on allowing they're going to start cutting back state um, assistance because they have to stop paying for these illegal immigrants. What? Yes. What it's do you mean? True. <laughs> it's what? True. There's some illegal immigrants. This is news to me. And what? what they're going to do is allow the cities and towns to start taxing the citizens. Of course they are. Mm. Individually. So you each have city and city yeah. is each city and town will be able and I'm not they're not sure if they're gonna release it towards an income tax yeah. from each city and town or mm -hmm. like a almost like a carbon tax aspect of it. But all the residents will be taxed um, yep. from their individual city and town. Yep. So they they'll once they start pulling back the public assistance from the state or the yep. state assistance, yep. they're gonna allow for that. Of is that the same statute that allows you to tax, go around the city? Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of words there, man. I read mm -hmm. that thing, and uh, it's just a lot of filler. It's the whole middle of the hot dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, you're reading it, and then you got to put it down and then read it again, you know? But um, <clears throat> I was focused on the one item that I was yeah. looking up. So, But, uh, yeah, the, there's going to be a lot more uh, taxes being put on us, um, and especially if we don't go the right route, if we just skip over our town meeting. Uh, which is, you know, which was part of the point of our petition. Mm -hmm. And so getting back to the town meeting, it ended abruptly. Uh, there were people that were standing up as per protocol, um, uh, and they were asking for a um, roll call vote. Mm -hmm. in the, but the meeting was shut off, uh, but wasn't shut off correctly and uh, shut down correctly. And so now they're going to do it tonight. 
So now somebody, some town meeting uh, member needs to get up and say that they'd like a motion to, uh, um, mm -hmm. you know, for the roll call vote. What time's that meeting? It's either 7 or 7.30. Okay. Um, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go by and see what's up. But I uh, it would be nice to see somebody uh, would stand up and, and do that because uh, yeah. otherwise they're just kind of making fun of the system, I think. Seems like mm -hmm. a slap to me, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. It does, let's say, let's put it this way. Every time it feels right here that it ain't right, it's not right. Not right, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? So. Could be an Alsa. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a doctor. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and neither <laughs> am I. Did you guys neither right that, uh, oil, oregano oil? Oh, oregano yeah, oil. There <laughs> you go. All set. Do you have Stay any there, Katie? Right he needs some. <laughs> Every time you get a policy or a new tax or oh, fee, okay. you can Still adjust fermenting. Entry, take that oil in your mouth. You'll be all set. <laughs> the little drop. We get the dropper. Listen, you guys want to keep mocking me. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a two-hour show. Um, Sorry, Mike. <clears throat> you know, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> listen. I uh, tripped over a YouTube video, oh. and um, it was in 2012. Mm -hmm. And this um, speaker, this author, um, she's self-described liberal Democrat, uh, but she says she's not a progressive. So sounds like she's like a JFK Democrat. Right? Who's JFK? Yep. Right. All right. <laughs> um, Rosa Kaur, K O I R E. She has explained this situation that we're going to discuss somewhat here really, really well. Um, it's, uh, it's an hour and 40 minute video. It's worth seeing. If you look it up, it's Rosa Kaur, K O I R E, and it's uh, listed a speech on Agenda 21. And what is Agenda 21? Well, what would that have to do with the town of Danvers? Oh, what doesn't it have to do with the town mm -hmm. of Danvers? What do you mean? It's very scary. So this, uh, this is a UN agenda mm -hmm. that uh, has been put together. This is the end of my notes, and now we're, uh, we're free-ranging. I'm going to ad-lib. <laughs> so this is going to hurt. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> this, uh, this schedule that's been put together, which is being placed and use it's in in place and it's being used all around the world um, it affects everything schools mm -hmm. hospitals construction uh, you know all the communications uh, everything manufacturing manufacturing yes. uh, all the big wigs of uh, carbon footprint oh we're gonna get all, yeah, all, yeah, all, all everybody's social status and yes. all the inequities uh, that's going social on. justice, mm -hmm. social uh, yeah. equity. Yeah. Yes. Um, what is a, what did our um, what did our uh, vice president say that she loves Venn diagrams? Yeah. Is it Venn diagrams? I think Venn, it's Venn uh, yeah, diagrams. Whatever. I thought. What is I it? don't even know what Venn it is. Venn diagrams. Venn I diagrams. Yes. It's got three circles. Two circles that kind of like interchange. This whole uh, agenda twenty one has got the. She the yeah, she displayed quite a few of them, didn't she? Yeah, and this is g and I think she got it from this because it's got the three mm -hmm. circles all interlaced and it shows. Uh, Social, what? Well, not social justice. Uh, what did you just say? Uh, uh, equity. Equity, mm -hmm. uh, and then um, social equity, and, and then uh, business, and, and then government, and, and how it all inclusion is con connects, and and how basically they are putting this stuff in place to uh, create a better way of controlling all of us. Yes. And so, I was going to wear my tinfoil tinfoil hat, but we needed it because we were making some other health tips. Mm -hmm. So we had to wrap those things up. But, uh, <laughs> 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 so, you know, why waste good tinfoil, you know? Right, no. But, uh, <laughs> it's expensive nowadays, yeah. too. We used to use the tinfoil so we could get channel 38 and 56. Yep. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, 44. 44. If you're lucky, you get 44. Wow, yeah. got me TV. <laughs> so do um, you want to you wanna talk a little about this Agenda 21, what you can remember? Sandy, you guys, tell me what your opinion was after you and, and tell me how you thought it reflected on the town of Danvers. Well, I have read Agenda 21 once before. Well, oh, you have, okay. As much as I could. So I read pieces of it, and it was quite big. It's like a 25 pound binder portfolio about this big of paper. <coughs> And it's not an easy read. It's very uh, political and po uh, policy wonk. But the crux of it is that they, um, back in 93, they went down to Brazil. They had a, 
World Global um, Forum. Yeah. And they came up with this idea that, you know, we need to strip the property rights, mm -hmm. strip um, residential um, uh, individual mobility to move around, mm -hmm. um, and to basically have governmental control over every aspect of every person's life. Yeah, strip your God-given yeah. rights. Yeah. From the amount of heat that you can put <coughs> into your house, the size of your home, yeah. what vehicles you can uh, use, the um, length of your your abilities to transit from one city to another. So you, you basically are put into a box of travel so you can't have free, you know, they call it sprawling. But Damien, how does that affect Danvers? Well, it affects Danvers, and how it affects Danvers is that through, so they put this out and they went to um, people like the Sierra Club, the National um, um, Forestry, um, National Forestry Fund, a couple <coughs> other agencies Planning and funds. boards everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they asked them, they said, we need a land use um, development book uh, uh, program. So they created a book back in 17, it took them six years to make. Back in 17, they came out with um, this, this um, agenda, I think it was called. No, it was, uh, back, it was before that, it was before 17, right? Uh, no, I think it came out in 17. It took them six years to make. Oh, yeah, wow. but they this uh, didn't this all get, didn't they have this big forum in like 92, 93? Yeah, but it took them a while to find the people that were going to write this book. So, but anyways, um, yeah, they, maybe it came out in 07. Maybe that's what yeah, I'm thinking. Maybe I'm 10 years off. Um, <clears throat> but what they ended up doing is they, they created this book on sustainable, they, and they used these terminologies right yeah. out of the uh, Agenda 21, sustainable growth. And what sustainable growth is, and one of the, the things that they point out is that they want to create an idea or concept of sustainable growth, smart planning, yeah. green pr planning. Yeah. All of these terminologies are from back then that you're seeing now being put into um, land use, zoning boards, mm -hmm. all of these things, you know. Um, um, and, and Danvers actually signed into this. Yes. Um, you see it right downtown, that giant building. <coughs> Their concept is to have these, these commercial properties. On the first these, floor. Yeah. On the first floor, right. and then residential property up. So you can mm -hmm. have up to 15 um, families per third of an acre. You, you create all this, this um, what they want to do is um, centralize the population into city centers mm -hmm. and cr stop the sprawling. So one of the things that they argued is that sprawling, single family homes, homesteads, large plots of land, um, creating your own food on your own property, you know, big mi middle sized farms, all of this is unsustainable and against the um, abilities for them to be able to control. Because if somebody owns their own property, they control it. So that now you get all these restrictions on zoning boards. Now um, these same restrictions, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll say that I buy a piece of property, and I want to buy and I want to put a six family on that piece of property. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I'm in the wrong section of town, uh, I'm told no. Well, but the government comes along. That's correct. So Danvers has a new <coughs> general plan in their, for their, for their, um, for the township. So there's a new general plan that allows for, um, yeah, planning what, what changes, transitional, zoning changes. transitional, um, development, um, plans which or multiple multiple family plans uh, multiple family uh, dwelling plans which is what you see downtown mm -hmm. and what they do is they eliminate they s restrict the work that you can do in a single family home oh well these people put their property their building right on the edge <coughs> of the sidewalk if you own a house in Danvers you have a setback you know yeah. um, depending on where you are 20 feet minimum. 20 feet yeah. minimum well and you know unless it's been it's been there for a hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But they, they have a, a pushback. You can't build a shed. You can't keep a shed 10 feet from the sides of your property. So they, they created all of these things to cycle down your house. 
Um, they create ordinances to make it too expensive to buy a house. And, um, well, and, and like for instance, like in some of the uh, towns and cities, there uh, uh, you build a brand new house, right? It's mm -hmm. all electric. Everything's mm -hmm. electric. Oh, really? And they are not allowing you to even have a fireplace. Yep, no fireplace, no gas fireplace. Now, either. considering that, getting back to the battery cars, considering that the battery, our uh, electric grid can't handle the battery cars. Now you get all the houses up onto the same electric mm -hmm. grid. Yeah. And so it's so it's one of failure, the failure failure this, this February this uh, June the new electric codes are going into place. So every brand new home that's being built has to have an electric charger for the uh, um, a car. So you have to have an output for an electric charger even, even if, if you, you don't, don't have, have the electric car. car. But they also <coughs> have to put up um, a solar panel connection even if they don't have solar panels. But the, so what you need to do is, and another thing is, is that you have to put a 300 amp service in. They don't make 300 amp services. That they're, they're not, there's no residential 300 amp. That's a commercial grade issue. They don't make them. So now that these, all these suppliers are starting to make these, they're not gonna have them out in time for the um, service changes. As so usual. if you, you have to, if you own a house, or you own a piece of land, you're going to put a house on it, get your permits pulled before June, because otherwise you're, you're going to have to be pushed back because all of the electrical services you can't And think of in. the cost that's going to stop people from building that house. I know. Yeah, you the know. electrical costs alone are going to put a 15% increase just on the, uh, um, the additions. Yeah, to start. That's not including <laughs> all the other stuff, the uh, insulation yeah. uh, increases, the material increases, the, you know... They, they got these houses. I mean, it's just, that's one of the goals of this um, Agenda um, 20, 21 yeah. is to create a very expensive single-family housing industry so that it p prices people out of their, um, mm -hmm. out, out of their abilities right. to purchase and renovate their homes. The middle class, again, is taking the hit because no longer is the American dream to, you know, get you, you know, get married, have your two kids, and have your own house, uh, they're getting rid of that. They're getting rid of the ability to have your own house. Mm -hmm. and uh, Pull them into the central area. They're right. gonna also, another, another thing that this says, and this is all part of the major plan, mm -hmm. is that they're gonna, in order to stop the sprawl, they're gonna start, and I don't know if Danvers is in this, <laughs> this part yet, it, it, it seems like the roadmap that, that it, she just uh, discussed in yeah. 2012 is exactly what's happened here in town. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely there. It's definitely there. And um, so one of the things that they want to do is um, put roads to rubble. So make them dirt roads again, like just gravel roads. They're going to mm -hmm. crumble up all the roads. So it makes it difficult for people to travel. It's unbelievable. And you see a little bit. Um, they talk about water use, mm -hmm. um, cutting back on water. Yeah, we don't have enough water. Yeah. They're going to be putting well, the they're going to be putting the meters in. You know, all the smart meters. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when when they started out with these smart meters, there was a, I heard a funny story of a uh, neighborhood that uh, thought they were on the cutting edge. They got all their smart meters in their houses, and mm -hmm. and then um, they were surprised when the electric company turned all their heat down because they were using too much heat. Yes. And they had no control over it. Yep. And that's how that goes. So they'll be turning down our heat, our water, yes. uh, possibly our electric, uh, when then the uh, upper echelon decide we've used too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a crazy uh, thing done to my house. I was having trouble with my, my remote control for my TV was going off. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, so You can't say hell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the hey <laughs> yeah. is going on here? So I mm -hmm. go over to my, um, I'm like looking around, I get to my propane tank that's right behind my TV room, and uh, they have a, they have a, like a thing, a dome on top of this thing that's got an antenna. I'm like, where did this thing come from? Oh. So I called them, mm -hmm. yep. and they're like, oh, well, that, that's so we know when, you're, when you need more propane. I was right. like, I'm on a schedule. Right. right. Just show up every six weeks. Well, this way we thought, I said, so you guys are monitoring this? They're like, no, this is a third, um, a third party company that's yeah. doing it. Yeah. I'm like, so who else gets to see this? They're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, get the thing off my, get it off my propane. 
I was very angry with this company. Yeah. But they're a good company. I've never had a problem other than this with them. But mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's all the new wave. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, and, you know, <coughs> how long before they say, oh, I, I, it's nobody's business when I heat my house. It's well, nobody's right. business when I don't heat my house. The schedule that's been lined up here for all of us and that's in play mm -hmm. is it's happening. It is their business. It's going yeah. to be their business. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That was in, that was in Virginia, oh, wow. right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That that did happen oh, wow. yeah, on a rental in uh, Virginia Beach. Really? Yeah. It was uh, it was pretty that's hot pretty out, scary. and the, the AC was turned down on us a few times, and you know we were like doing the same thing, you know, except I said, "What the heck," you yeah. know, because there were kids around, you know. But, uh, yeah. Pride mind, but you're pride paying mind. money to rent that yeah. house, so right, you should right. be able to use whatever, and it can compensate for that as Absolutely. well. Say, right. Okay, yeah. they, they used a little bit of the AC, but that's okay. They spent X yeah. amount of money. These rentals we'll aren't cheap. We'll just use it for that. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not cheap. Thousands they're not. of dollars, you know? Yeah. This one was big money because we hit, what's it, what wow. was it? Wow. Yes. For the week, ten grand for the ten week. Grand for the week. Split it in stuff. Yeah, yeah, you would think that you should be able to do that. I mean, yeah, that's not a then joke. Then don't enough. offer the house then if you can't be comfortable in that. Exactly. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And it's it's <laughs> funny because the rentals, you know, usually have their rear ends hit, you know, kicked around, you know, they kind of beat up a little bit. And even right. you know, you go to the a nice place, but you know, you could still still things are run down. Yeah. And and so they'll cut your AC down, but they you know they won't replace the. Uh, the rug that's uh, curling up around the edge of the wall there or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's Because uh, that's not being monitored. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, with the Agenda 21 again. Mm -hmm. Well, they said they, that she was commenting about that they wanted to build sustainable cities, that they just wanted to right. keep everybody together right. and, that, and make and sure everybody right. had the same thing, not one person had more than the other <laughs> right, and right. all of that. So. And, 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 and with the plan right here in mm -hmm. Danvers, that, that – the Maple building. Street Plaza, yeah, yes. the, the that eyesore. Yeah, the yes. building where the corner store was mm -hmm. will be every will look just like that all the way to 128, yeah. and it'd be a 15 minute city. Yeah, and and you'll be able to ride your bike from you know one place to another. And, mm -hmm. and, collect, and she also collect stated your government check. that you know you're getting money from the state, and they're supposed to build like give you public transportation and stuff, and said they don't have to supply that. Right. So, right, and then she right. mentioned about the parking spots. Like, oh, you yeah. probably get a parking spot or half or none. It doesn't matter because they're not yeah. going to do anything. This is all right. government money funded. And these they're just are making the money off of this plan. It's all the same exact words that you hear yes. at the planning meetings, mm -hmm. saying the same thing, you know? Yeah. And they say that building buildings like this is unsustainable. Be it's the, uh, based on the idea of this sustainability for resources, but. The tax footprint on it is minimal. The um, stress on resources are very strong. So they either become dumps or they become vacant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's because the model for these are unsustainable to do privately. And what ends up happening is, is that it's all, gov it's all being done with government grants, the 40B um, grant program. HUD funds HUD. these things. And they said they give out a hundred thousand uh, uh, a year. A hundred million. Oh, a hundred million a year. That's what it yeah, was. Okay. Uh, it's probably more now. That was in fourteen, but mm -hmm. HUD gives out these grants. Um, um, uh, tra uh, transportation, and this is all based on transportation too. It all right. comes funneled through the transportation. So we just got uh, we you guys just got money here in Danvers from the transportation department. So you guys took that money, but part of that money is that you build more f uh, buildings like that right downtown, uh, right, right mm -hmm. downtown, over there, and that's a problem right. because now you guys took the money, and you know now you got to follow their plan, now and you the guys changed the plan. And the interesting thing is that most people in town don't know that all this has happened, right? Because mm -hmm. you're busy working, mm -hmm. uh, trying to pay your bills. The cost of everything keeps going up, mm -hmm. right? Electric, water, trash fees, uh, food. Food's way yeah. up. Um, we had another increase again. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, the, the uh, politicians act like you should know all this. And, like, uh, that's their bubble. Mm -hmm. So the, here's the, the, re the real problem is we go to work and we pay our bills as we agreed to do. And we, we go to work, you do a good job, you, you stay employed, you pay your bills, you take care of your family, take care of all the things you need to. 
But then we expected them to do the same, that they would do their job, which would, which would have been looking out for us, but then they didn't because now they're making damage the city. Mm -hmm. And the plan's already approved. It's all set up. Yeah. And that's just living off of that. But they also have other things in there, too. Mm -hmm. That is, um, um, in regards to tracking people in corporatism, and one of the things that they were talking about is to um, utilize companies and businesses to be able to track um, the the residents. They call it at what did I say? It was acid. Um, oh yeah, you um, did say asset. Acid. Asset. They consider us to be assets, so it's like yeah. asset tracking. Yeah. So oh, okay. yeah. asset asset based tracking. Yeah. So where the asset and one of the things they were talking about is have companies go out offer free uh, services and then that way they'll be able to track so when you go on Google right. mm -hmm. Twitter yeah. Instagram TikTok, whatever yeah. all these social media Facebook yeah. you agree to let them track you exactly so they are tracking it and it allows, and there's no law against the United States government purchasing that that information. So the United States government is one of the lot is the largest purchaser of tracking information um, from the social media companies, and that was outlined in this Agenda 21, and it was put forth back um, by Barack Obama talking. Um, what was it, the um, Sustainability Committee or Commission out of the United States government. And they started implementing all of these little procedures to, to start stripping down um, personal sovereignty, uh, sovereignty and uh, personal property ownership. And that's the biggest thing. They're coming after our homes. Mm -hmm. It's us. Yeah, they are. It, they're, coming, <clears throat> they're coming for us. They already got our data. Mm -hmm. I don't carry a cell phone because I don't trust it. Mm. I don't trust. Yeah. I talk to my wife about something. Next thing you know, I'm getting office for vacations. I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to get a vacation from me, wouldn't it? And she goes, it'd be great. And uh, next thing you know, we have uh, cruises popping up on our cell phone. Yeah, they're listening to or, everything. Or if, if you said it'd be nice to get a vacation from me. Well, that's what getting, I said. She's getting <laughs> ads for divorce lawyers. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I want to say that. I've Could seen be. that happen, too. That's me. My it's wife like everything in your home. <laughs> your Alexa. Loves me. Yeah, Can you of blame course. Her? Yes. I mean, that she loves Of course she me. does. But your Alexa, your cell yes. phone, they're listening to everything. And sometimes yeah. I'll have conversations with my husband. I'll say, did you hear that, Alexa? Did you catch that? Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I don't care. I'm like, they're listening. Yeah. I mean, I don't, there's not I, much I you can do about it. I don't sleep in my room with mm -hmm. a cell phone. I don't, I don't carry it. I have one. But it's off in my office, up on my shelf. Under your tin foil hat? Yeah. Under the aluminum <laughs> cap. <laughs> With your oregano oil <laughs> fermenting? <laughs> you know what? Last health tip, okay? Okay. That I include you guys in. Okay. Next time. I'll read it this way. Okay. Tell me about your health tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You pulled a Biden? <laughs> yeah, I know. I forgot what I was going to say. That's okay. Did, did, we, did we cut you yeah. off? You had some notes here. No, no. I was just saying, the only yeah. thing I was going to just mention the list, because this woman, Rosa, said that, their action plan is they want to control our land, our yeah. water, our minerals, our plants, our animals, mm -hmm. construction, mm -hmm. uh, means of production, and information and energy. Yeah. So they basically want to control every little thing that we own or that we have. And she was saying that they kind of implemented one of these sustainable cities. And what they're trying to do is, I guess, it's the greenhouse effect. They're trying to bring down, I guess, the usage and make it less um, harmful, I guess, to the environment. So she had mentioned um, a place out in uh, Latvia. So Latvia, they have oh, the right. system in place. Right. So they have like in this little fort, and they have the little sustainable city. Everybody's there. And if you use too much of certain things, they shut off a switch. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they said they were able to get the greenhouse effects down to right. 80% 80, 80 like they wanted to. And it's because yeah. they were able to control it. Yeah. But that's at your own cost. So you have mm -hmm. no right to it. So here you are, like what happened with you on your trip. You're trying yeah. to put the AC on because you want to cool down. And they're probably trying to do the same thing. And like, nope, you're using too much. So we, we do have them here. We've had them for a long time. Oh, so, really? I didn't. Yeah. Well, we call them prisons. Oh. <laughs> they control everything. You yeah. know, yeah. when you're going to eat, when you're yeah. going to, you know, sleep, yeah. when you're going to work out 15 hours a day so you can beat up the cops who are working 
24 hours a day and don't get a chance to work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You well, know, yeah, because it's a good system. Well, like you were saying, mm -hmm. she did say in, in um, the Agenda 21 mm -hmm. that eating uh, meat is unsustainable. So they want to get rid of all unsustainable things. Mm -hmm. Eating meat is unsustainable. I think it's politicians we should be getting rid of. Yeah, I yeah. know. Um, drink um, control of the, <coughs> your own personal water mm -hmm. is unsustainable. Single family homes are unsustainable. Carbon um, vehicles are unsustainable. Privately owned vehicles unsustainable. Um, um, they call it sprawl, and that just means that you're too far spread out to now, be able to. I, I don't control, need to keep to interrupting be sustainable. you, but um, you know the whole carbon footprint thing. Mm -hmm. Now I recall in ninth grade science class. I do remember that far back. And because uh, things were in color back then. Mm -hmm. I know you might think it was black and white, but uh, <clears throat> aren't we made of carbon? Yes. Isn't everything made of carbon? Well, you Basically. Need, you need How carbon to grow plants. Are we going to get mm -hmm. rid of our carbon footprint? Well, the earth is hotter, they're saying, but it's the greenest the earth have, has, has been ever mm -hmm. in recorded history. Yes. So over the last 120 years, we are actually a greener society. I did hear Physically. that we're, we're sinking. Did I hear that? Oh, I oh heard that. You heard, did you hear it? It was a millimeter last year. We sank one millimeter. Well, that just so means that's us probably why. have to get off the couch a little bit more yeah. and uh, start going for walks. We probably got that information years late because Obama bought his house down on the vineyard right on the water. Yes. I mean, well, if the beaches were... Climate he, if there's water, any erosion, the why would water, they build on eroded land? Yeah. That doesn't he make any sense. probably forced a drop so that he gets closer to the ocean. Yeah. Probably. What a she joke. was also stating, too, that <laughs> if you wanted to pull permits to build on lands and stuff, too, they were going to make that very difficult, too. You weren't going to be able to Absolutely. pull permits yeah. or anything else. Well, on, that's so. with all those so, so, yeah, things that's, they what they, going, yeah. that's what the general, yeah. general, mm -hmm. um, general planning, they changed mm -hmm. the general planning. So if you go to build, if you have a commercial property or... Um, you want to put um, it's a commercial residential they won't allow you to get to just put up a, a warehouse or you know an individual building like McDonald's is right now or, mm -hmm. or downtown Danvers here or the Dunkin Donuts you're gonna have to stick those underneath um, tower these properties, high rises these, yes these high she showed pictures of it too. yeah the the goal with uh, within the uh, agenda 21 was to um, eliminate single built use buildings create multiple use buildings, multiple family buildings. Mm -hmm. And you even though you have a C uh, zoning, you're in C1 zoning, or you're in uh, R2 zoning, they're not gonna allow you to build up properties mm -hmm. or do anything or pull your permits on those properties. And she also said that if you categorize that as a general category, that they can change your zoning rules without having to tell you that, because yep. yep. they're supposed to inform you. Right. But how yep. they categorize it, <coughs> they don't necessarily have to tell yeah. you that you got rezoned well, also, they, well, yeah. they did, and they mm -hmm. just went through here when the people were complaining that they're going to do this downtown. Mm -hmm. The rule was changed, right? So they can do it. They don't even have to. Add, they don't even have to. It doesn't have to go right. through variances, even right. though they went through the big, um, the, the you know the perception of it. Oh yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, they keep moving the goalposts. And they just, mm -hmm. they did it. They, they, it was already done. So it's nothing that anybody could do is block, try to block those uh, variances on those properties. Another thing that they talked about is to isolate people from involvement in, in uh, government groups. So yeah. like if you have a town meeting for the trash, the town will just call in government employees, yeah. government officials, right, right, right. Uh, consultants, just people that are on board with their plan exactly. so that they don't have any uh, dissent they, against and, the regular yeah. population. Eliminate the general population yeah. from entering. And they'll the have public. these meetings at 9 o'clock on a Monday morning. Right. Yeah, because, you know, they're still following the laws. It's a public meeting, except the public's at work trying to pay their water bill mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. their trash fee. Yeah, because she did say that they have to notify you of these meetings. Yeah. And she said they can just post it up on a piece of, like a cork board at, in the... Um, town hall or something yeah, and then have right. it up there and that's yeah. enough. Well, they, they post they it on the website yes. and whatnot. So they don't have to put it on yeah. social media, nothing, yeah. but it's posted up there and that there's your notification, even right. though no one will see it, right. basically, unless they're But even there. if you see it, you're going to be able to take off work? No, you can't. Like, who can take off work? Exactly. There's already enough that is uh, being thrown at us, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. So how do, how do uh, we...
try to fight back. It, well, she it, said it's, you can fight. She it's said read. local. Right. Find folks that you can vote into office that when HUD comes and says they want to give you the money and say, no, we don't want that. Exactly. It's hard to say no to $3 million for your yes, whatever it your is. school. Yes, it is. But do right. you want your sovereignty or do you want... People might want you know, you know, computers and knickknacks in their city hall. Well, that's obviously what happens. But, but I think a lot of people don't know either. We Again. want mm -hmm. clicky pens this year instead yeah. of just the cap ones. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, another thing that I thought was kind of odd, too, that she <laughs> said that they're going to be checking up on our health, that yeah. obesity was going to become like a law, that if you're a certain mm -hmm. weight, you're going to get into trouble. I'm a violator. So I said, you know, that sounds funny because my kids would get letters in the school saying they want their BMIs. And I'm like, why do they need to know what their BMI is? Mm -hmm. And usually I will deny anything if it's something that it's not mandatory. I'll say, no, I, my daughter's not going to do a survey. They're not going to do any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do any of this information. But unfortunately, the BMI, they want that information, and I can't say no. But it made me wonder, why do they need to know that? And it's probably because this is what they have planned. Yeah. They want to check and see, like, oh, are you eating red meat? They, okay, they're kind of hefty there. Are you having a lot of burgers or what have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. yeah the Ozempic is uh, being pushed. That's a yeah. diabetes medicine. Yes, it should be used for that yeah. purpose only because right. then if you're not, if, then if how you're do you wean yourself off right. then? Right. That's right. going to cause yeah. some issues with you. So. Well, it's also paralyzing people's stomachs. Yes. Yeah. So really? people are, yeah, people are just having to go in for surgeries because their stomach shuts down and they have to get the food cut out of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. Because it was designed for one purpose. Yep. Right. And now it's being used for another one. At a higher yeah. level, yeah. At $1,000 a month. Wow. $1,000 a month for that? Wow. Uh, that's uh, a lot. And if you're a diabetic, it's hard for you to find it. Yeah. If you're, that's I, what I'm saying. I'm just going to repeat that so yeah. people can hear it. That if you're a diabetic, it's... It'd be hard to, you know, you might have a hard time locating it because people that are taking it, for, you know, as a diet plan. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and. I don't think that's fair because people yeah. actually need it for their. But it, but it's also probably detrimental to their health. Right, exactly. You know, so. And when you, when you guys, uh, when you, when Sandy, when you talked about the mm -hmm. biometrics and the health issue, one of the things that they were talking about is that they, in the um, Agenda 21, they pointed to, um, the Nazi Germany mm -hmm. saw tracking and biometrics over the um, Jewish population, yes. and they 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 discuss. Um, yes, I saw that What too. the tattoos are for? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know this is you know your race. The next mm -hmm. couple numbers are your, your where you're from, what where town, you're from, what location, and then what the camp you're going to. What so camp. they had it all. Yeah. I never realized that what the yeah. significance of that number yeah. was. So, so it's like you just took a mm -hmm. and you can just tell. IBM was yeah. running that. that. Yeah, yes, IBM. they did. IBM That's right. ran that. Yeah. Created the whole thing. The ticket, the um, punch ticket program for people traveling. All that. They, they're the ones who came up with the monitoring system for that, all that. And they, they want to mimic that in mm -hmm. the they are Agenda 21 yep. and in this. Yes. And you kind of are with your IP mm -hmm. addresses, your cell phones, all that stuff. Right. I mean, obviously, right now, it's not the, uh, you know, the brutal outcomes of it or the consequences of this. Right. But the tracking of people, limiting their freedom, knowing everything they do. I'll tell you a story about this. Is this a long story? Quick story. Okay. Lost my phone the other day. You said you hate your phone. I, I hate my phone, okay. but I lost it. So I said, where the heck did I put it? And um, so I went on the computer, said, how do I track my phone? I said, oh, type in your number here. I went, boop, showed exactly where it was. It was downtown mm -hmm. at um, um, the gla satellite glass The local there. gin mill? Yeah, the local <laughs> gin mill. But and they, it was found it right there. And I, I didn't have to type in any personal information, just my number. And no, because it, right it, already, it already gave you personal no, yeah. information. Yeah. Out. You're all yeah, set. Exactly. Yeah, everybody knows where I am. And mm -hmm. I, I was shocked. I mean, it was, I, I guess I, it was, I, I must have put it on my bumper on my car and drove yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, the, guy, the guy said he saw it in the street, found it in the street. He was waiting for somebody to call on it. Another thing I wanted to throw, throw out there is, have you noticed how um, the uh, businesses uh, and uh, the population, they're being pitted against each other with, with what's going on? So on the the radio show I was listening to the other day, they were um, hammering away at um, one of the restaurants, uh, catering companies that, as we talked about before, is supplying all the food for the uh, illegals. Oh, that, Spinelli's. Yep, Spinelli's, mm -hmm. right? And, but, you know, I want to back that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if Spinelli's didn't do it, somebody would have done it. 
Right. Right. It was what a ten million dollar open ended contract or something. No. Right. I know. Right. Now, let's, you know, let's widen out the lens a little bit more. Do you know, ever notice the bus companies now? All the bus companies have brand new buses. Well, they're shipping everybody around the country, and they're getting paid for it like crazy, right? Mm -hmm. The planes, you know, all the airlines, they're getting tons of money. They're moving all kinds of people around. Yeah. And so they keep pitting all of us against each other because they individualize everybody. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, well, you know, maybe you work for a, a, a law enforcement agency. And uh, so they give you a raise without question. And that is, uh, you know, that's, well, you do what we tell you to do, right? Yeah. Didn't they do that in Germany? Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. it's all the same stuff. It's, it's history repeating itself. Um, mm -hmm. And they just continue to uh, make it an individual thing so that you don't, you know, buck the system. I said yeah. buck, the B was a B. Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. how many, look how many uh, state troopers with the vaccine mandate. Yeah. How, it, there was, what's it, 37 of them that didn't do it. Right, and, and they uh, were fired, weren't they? They were fired yeah. for this, yes. well, 12 of them Dishonorably got discharged. Dishonorably yes. discharged That's from service. That's a crock of crap. And yep. these people that took it, you know, didn't want to do it, <laughs> but they took it for the money. Right. And I, I feel bad for them. The people who didn't want to do it, the people who wanted to do it good for you, you right. know. It should be a choice. It is, and it, it should be. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they did that to these men and that some took it for the money makes me question what else they would do for money for keeping their job. Well, some, you know, some of that's driven. Your private liberties, you know, yeah. you're going to say, well, I had to do it. I'm going to make you do it. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. You know what I mean? I had to do it for my job, so you got to do it. Right, right. And, you know, some of it's out of fear and obviously out of, right. uh, yeah. And I understand. Know, I know. understand the reason why a lot of people did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to take care of your family. But then my question is, job. why would somebody why would you force that on somebody? Why didn't anybody question that? That was my thing. Like, okay, why are you forcing me to take this vaccine? But did, did you notice how the media portrayed it? Yes. They made them the bad guys. Mm -hmm. they, they, and that's all they do is they keep, make, they keep making it. It's, it's like she says in this her, her video, yeah. too. It's the scare tactics. They Absolutely. put some sort of thing out there to scare people and say, you have to do this mm -hmm. and you have to do that. Otherwise, we're not going to get better or you're not going to get, all, you know. Yeah. Which that's what was my thing. It's like, why are they forcing people to get this vaccine? It should be a choice. Exactly. So, and right. then people lost their job. But then you also say in the same breath, too, these same people are now allowing illegals over the border and they're not being vaccinated. Yeah. Why? And then if we so, back it up even more, right. the whole COVID thing, mm -hmm. you know, it's been, it's been said widely. Uh, it was a man-made uh, yeah. situation. Yes. And, you know, the only thing that they haven't said was, was it done on purpose or was it done accidental? Well, does it matter at this point? No. And something that came up that she talked about, and she grazed over it, mm -hmm. probably because at the time it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, and now it is, but mm -hmm. the um, vaccine sterilization program yeah. that they had in China at the time, yeah. they, were they were giving people vaccines, but it was causing sterilizations because they wanted a population decrease. Right. right. And they, I, I, you know, after I heard that, I was like, man, this is, you know, a lot of people now, they're having trouble ha conceiving. Women are having, you know, biological miscarriages, too. miscarriages yes. are up. Biological things like that. And it just, it. Population control. I think about it Popular. now. I, when she said this in 14, mm -hmm. I said, man, that sounds like the the vaccines the vaccine mandate they just forced on us yes and now they're trying to say oh you got to get the you got to get another vaccine they're already talking they about the vaccine in. act yeah. with the new vaccine yeah yeah so. they keep pumping in in there and yeah. i'm not a pro uh, anti vaccine vaccine right. person <clears throat> if you want them get them mm -hmm. but no if you want to get it but research yes. it so you know right. what you know what they're but this was like here. a new thing they didn't have any any status no no, no. data no nothing i'm like i'm not going to go out and inject myself with something that i have no information about Exa yeah. and i have no idea what the side effects are and i mean i understand they were making everybody so paranoid about it but still you had but to like sit there and think like wait a minute it. is this really going to benefit me i'm uh, we're, we're, they're telling us to be home right so why do we need to be vaccinated if we're just stuck in our house anyway right. it didn't make any sense mm -hmm. to me it just didn't no because no. it was wrong and right you could exactly feel it. Your, your instincts were correct, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, the whole thing is that if we had time to think about it, um, then we would say no, but right. there was no time. It was all coming at us. Like everything else is today, right. the, the normal thing now mm -hmm. is that every other day there's some other crisis, and then, oh, the government will fix it, but the government no. is the one who creates it.
You want less government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need less government. Yes. But uh, we have, uh, yep, we got about five minutes okay. left here. So I, I, I want to say it again. How, how, do, how do you locally, what are you going to do? Um, you know, some of the things you should do is become a town meeting member, okay? And uh, that way you can have, you can participate in the voting. Mm -hmm. uh, you can really find out the, the guts of what's going on in town, mm -hmm. whether you want to or you don't. Um, I'm also going to try for that, too. I'm going to grab my papers, too, and get yeah. signatures for town I, yep. meeting member as well. Precinct 6, so I'll be going around knocking on doors. <laughs> uh, yeah, very good. I think you mm -hmm. should. Um, we need more people to do that. Uh, we said it a few times in the other shows. We need poll workers. Mm -hmm. um, poll workers, you know, you, you can uh, help to make sure things are going like they should. You get paid for it. It's a long day, it is. but you're part of the program. You're going to be, uh, you know, helping out. And, uh, again, you get to see how things work. Whether There's you want to or not. Is your planning board elected or is it appointed? The planning board? Here in, in Danvers. I believe it's appointed. By the council? By the town manager, I believe. Does it town just manager. Come, not the board of selectmen, right? Just town manager does that? I think, I think okay. it's town manager, yeah. There you go. Right. I think, so yeah. Nothing you can do about the planning board other than fire a town manager and replace them with the person you want in there to appoint people that you want. Yeah, but we're not sure how that works, so that's the thing. It's well, you know, the, board of you guys select, yeah. the select board is yeah. the one who uh, gives us the town manager. Right. And so. they, they're the ones who contract mm -hmm. with them. So. so we hope you get in there. Well, we'll give it a, you know, let's put it this mm -hmm. way. The only way I'm getting in is if enough people decide that they are sick of what's going on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, then you just start unwinding it slowly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Start to, you know, and yeah. if you're open with people and explain to them why things are happening, yeah. you know, instead of behind the scenes and not, visible yeah exactly then you you, you know because then you're fighting reactive instead right. of being active right bringing it to people saying hey listen this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to do what well, is kind of nice to see people are starting to realize stuff so they're uh, people seeing are. that like people wait a are. minute i didn't realize <laughs> this was going on in town yep. nobody mm -hmm. told us and because things get deleted if you know i don't want to go into too much detail but not all the information is out there for people to view and, and see. So they it's can't true. make it's sound true. decisions when you don't have all the information. So Right. If you're gonna if you're gonna raise taxes or add fees to people, mm -hmm. uh, I think you should go uh, way out and in, in, in communicate. You know, mm -hmm. send uh, notices with the electric bill, with the uh, water bill, you know, with the excise tax. Make sure that that's out there mm -hmm. so that the people that are working 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 hours a week, the, at some point they're gonna be able to see it. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then, you know, give it some time, you know, so that people, it can saturate a little bit. Yeah. But when these things are, uh, you know. Um, Hidden. It, if you look at, you know, like I said, same thing with the, pub, you know, some of these public meetings at 9 o'clock in the morning. What's, who's, what's, that's not a public meeting. The mm -hmm. public's busy working, you know. And again, if it doesn't feel right, it's because it isn't. And we need more common sense. So mm -hmm. we try to operate on common sense, you know. Yeah, try and, to. Uh, mm hmm Anyhow, we're getting down to the last couple minutes. Um, anybody in the audience want to say anything? Anyone? Kay. No. Bueller? No. Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, um, mm -hmm. did you have something you needed to wrap up? I did. Mm -hmm. You are today. You can go out and vote. Early voting has started. Yes. Get out there and vote. If yes. you don't usually go early or do mail-in ballots, I understand that. I'm not comfortable with it, yeah. but it is what is done today now. So you need to beat them, a, let's say a Republican versus a Democrat. You need to get your vote into, bank your vote is what they're calling it. You need to bank your vote, make sure your votes are in to City Hall. Don't wait till the last minute because stuff happens mm -hmm. that you can't get downtown. Bank your vote, get your vote in, Vote, 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 and then you guys can have some real change. Mm -hmm. You guys can have the status quo if that's what you want. I don't care who you vote for right now, but get your vote in. And then I'll say later that I want you to vote for me. But <laughs> yeah. if you vote for anybody else, I don't really yeah. care. <laughs> yes, vote, vote for, for me on March 5th that's for right. Republican State Committee woman and also for Bob for State Committee man. And we will, we will be designated to help find people to run for state senate and state representative. And we already know that uh, Damien here is going to run for state senate. Well, hopefully we'll be elected and we can help Damien out and get him 
as our new Senate. Well, I hope you can yes. help me out anyways. Even yeah. If you oh, yeah, don't, definitely. But we have more pull as state committee God. woman and man, you know, so we could do a, a lot more. But, That's yes, you know we're always here. I was here that. for you last time. So I know and you And you as well for state rep. So God bless Danvers. Okay, God bless Danvers. Thank you for watching. God bless. All right. Good evening.